I'm Mike Jagerman. I lead the manufacturing of XB-1. The build process of an aircraft is considered from the very earliest phases of design. As Boom's seventh employee, my job was to bring advanced manufacturing technology to the design process. I worked closely with Greg's team to make sure that our designs were producible and manufacturable with the available technology. We built our team with a few fundamental philosophies in mind. First, get it right in design. 80% of an aircraft's cost is locked in the design phase. Second, plan early and plan often. You cannot start design reviews too early, nor can you have too many of them. Manufacturing feedback during the design process makes for a better final product. And third, don't wait until tomorrow to solve a problem. If a challenge arises, do not kick that can down the road. As I tell the team, don't wait until later to fix it, because later never comes. These philosophies help us save time and cost at every point along the way. I like to say that building an airplane is like eating an elephant. You take it one bite at a time. We built up XB-1 systematically by breaking each large component into sub-assemblies. Let's take the forward fuselage for example. It consists of the cockpit, systems bay, and landing gear bay sub-assemblies. Each of these large assemblies was built up separately and installed into the airframe when complete. We use high precision metrology tools like laser trackers and measurement arms. These tools allow us to hold measurements within the width of a human hair. With our processes and tools combined, structures like the forward fuselage came together with a high level of efficiency and accuracy. Throughout the build, we're also testing to burn down risk and maximize safety. We push components like the nose landing gear, wing structure, and vertical tail to their limit loads meaning they successfully met requirements for strength and durability under the most extreme flight conditions. The wing structure, as an example, can carry 60,000 pounds of load in flight. And for other parts, like the cockpit, we verified the design by bringing in the pilots when it was just a skeleton. In doing so, we ensured it was ergonomically shaped just for them. Everything from rudder pedals, safety harness, and instrument layout is optimized for their access and visibility. At every opportunity, we made a point to be smart about how we developed each component. Thanks to our partnership with Stratasys, a global 3D printing leader, we can both rapidly prototype and build flight hardware right here in our hangar. What used to take tens of thousands of dollars and weeks of time has been reduced to an overnight task at a fraction of the cost. We can start a print job at the end of the day and that part will be ready to be tested or assembled the next day. Whether it's the thousands of drill blocks or the actual flight hardware that we have produced, 3D printing has saved us valuable time and money. At rollout, we're celebrating the handoff of XB-1 from the design and build phase into the test phase of the program. I am so proud of this team's hard work and dedication we are so excited to see XB-1 fly for the first time.